Okay, we are talking about editing PDF documents, uh, in this case in Illustrator. Um, this is a pretty common request we, we see all the time, um, where we are given a PDF file only and not editable artwork, as in a, a raw Illustrator file or an InDesign file. We're asked if we can make changes, and that always is, it depends. Depends how the PDF was created. Uh, it depends on what program it was created in and the settings that were in place when the PDF was created. So here's one. We manage uh, product artwork for uh, a company. Um, this is our master artwork uh, that we maintain. This is the main product line uh, and we designed and maintain all of the product labeling for these guys. Uh, this is the raw original artwork, uh, that the source files, if you will, that um, belong to us, and this is what we use to edit and tweak. And then when we send art files and proofs and print-ready files, we export them from here into the, um, the final format, which happens to be PDF as well. Most printers, most modern printers, um, can handle different types of PDFs. Uh, and that comes into play when you're dealing with fonts and stuff like that. But um, traditional printers and, and old school printers will require all their fonts to be outlined and flattened and, and a whole bunch of other settings. The problem with that, from an editing standpoint, is that they're usually not editable when, when you flatten them out and everything like that. So here's a, here's a sample too. Uh, again, this is the original artwork. These are kind of like the blueprints. Uh, if you will, the source code, if you will, um, and it's all editable. So if we need to come in and change text, we can change text. If we need to adjust spacing, we can adjust spacing. Um, if we need to put in another, say, badge or logo, we can come in and drop it in and size it up and uh, do whatever we need to do with it. And then when it's time to, to go, we can export it and give it to the client. For proofing, once they approve it, then we export it again with a bunch of other settings to make it print ready. Um, so a common request we get is we'll receive PDF files only and we'll be asked to make changes. And so this is a, a great example. This is a, a, a company that uh, they work with and they receive print ready artwork from the client, which is CRL in this case, uh, but they only receive it in what we call print ready mode. So we can open it in Illustrator, but there's not much we can do, especially when it comes to editing text and everything like that. So I'm gonna actually start, just to make this a little more visible, I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees to show you what we're talking about. So let's say this was the artwork, and what, what the request is, we were, we were asked to put in a kind of a new safety warning block. Um, takes up a lot of space, it'll probably be you know an inch or two, you know, something in, in like this size uh, here. So if it was our editable artwork, we could do that. We could size things around, do all that good stuff. But since it's in this flattened print ready mode, uh, there's not much we can do with it um, because it's all flattened. It's basically just a bunch of lines and, and, and graphics. Even the text is not editable. So um, we can usually tell right away just by selecting it. I can tell how Illustrator displays different things. I can tell right away that's not editable. So we can start breaking this thing apart to show uh, a little more what we're talking about. So even down to, uh, it's not even grouped into paragraphs. It's, it's grouped down to individual words and stuff. So to, to say like, you know, that line, even even like that box is, is kind of by itself. And then when you export, you put these big clipping masks and other things on. You can release clipping mask, uh, which releases the the piece from the the outer shell. But if we were to look at this in outline mode, we can see all these different clipping masks and shapes and everything like that. Even every piece of the logo is is separated out into individual letters. Um, and then there's these clipping masks around it that happens to be. The blue line so I, I can't even not that we're going to edit the logo but it just shows how these things come in um, 
you know, even if I was, to, if we wanted to make a change to this subline, can't do it. It's, it's all, it's not even editable text. Uh, and then each, this one's broken on each individual letter. So you can see sometimes it's in a, a whole word. Sometimes it's broken out into sections of word. And for some reason, this C just got left out by itself. So um, you know, sometimes we can go in and grab graphics, but make it, it's even harder to edit because these big clipping masks exist. So you can't even like go in and click to really break things apart and whatnot. In this case, if we really had to, we would just have to recreate this this label. Um, and at the end of the day, we would not want to do that because this company is still active, they're in business, they have their own artwork department, and they manage all this. So to come in and, and make some intermediate changes uh, in the middle just, just doesn't work. Um, so back to this piece, I'm going to start back over again. It'll open up here. And there's the original pieces we got it. So this right here is the outline of the artwork. And again, we just have no room to, to put anything in. So um, it's just not, not doable. Uh, we couldn't even resize it properly. Uh, like if I wanted to squeeze this paragraph up like I did here. Let's just say I wanted to squeeze it up, maybe shrink the text, get it to all fit, leave some room for you know another piece of text that we're going to drop in, and if we can, we just have full control of it. Whereas this one, we just, we just don't. So there's, there's just no room for it. Uh, in some cases, if, if they said, hey, we just need to put this, you know, this thing in, you know, we can break that out and drop it into like maybe this space and stuff. But then we're, we're approaching, you know, we're encroaching into their graphics and, and branding and stuff like that. We just don't want to do that. So. Um, this is a pretty good case where there's just physically no room to put any new blocks. Uh, and even if we wanted to squeeze things up and, and shift things around, we couldn't because it's all just flattened and outlined and we just have no control over it. So, again, this is a request we get often. We're sent a PDF file. Uh, and the PDF file has been just flattened and prepared for you know, printers and high-res use and all that good stuff. And it's just, it's just not editable. Have a good day.